This is a 1000X TNT. And this is a normal piece of TNT. Ooh, trash. And we're gonna explode the most powerful TNT ever. So right now, our TNT level is at zero. But if we take damage, it's gonna spawn a TNT. And now, we're on level one. So next time we take damage, it's gonna be so much more powerful. But before we make giant explosions, let's get some materials. Nice. So we now have 10 blocks, so we're gonna be able to craft... Oh, no. What did I just do? A yellow TNT. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's so much TNT. We have to run. I'm going to stay in the middle so nothing hits me. Oh, my goodness. This is insane. Our TNT bar is now on level two. And that was insane destruction. And it's only going to get bigger and bigger from now on. But I have an idea. When we max out our TNT level bar, it's going to spawn in the biggest TNT in Minecraft. And we can use it to blow up the Ender Dragon. But now let's make some materials. Crafting table. Sticks. Pickaxe. Nice. Better pickaxe. Hello, Mr. Mr. Sheep, I don't want to hurt you. Yummy. I think to defend ourselves from the TNT, we're gonna need some iron armor. So let's try and look for a cave. Ooh, I found one. And there's iron inside. But we have to not take fall damage because I don't want to blow up the cave. We made it to the iron and it's only one piece. I found more iron. But it's still only one piece of iron. But when I went to go looking for more iron, I slipped and I took fall damage. No, oh my god, I, I didn't mean to do that. No, it's a pink TNT. No, no, no. No, 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 no. What the yo? Oh my goodness. Oh my god! Um, at least we found some more cave. And it mined a lot of blocks. And we found iron. This might not be so bad. But our TNT level is almost halfway complete. So this next explosion is gonna be insane. Coal time. Nice. Iron time. Nice. Furnace. Smelt. So we have a big problem. I am in the back of a cave and there are a lot of mobs. And if one even touches me, a giant explosion is going to go off and we're definitely not going to be able to escape. So this iron armor is kind of pointless because all it takes is one hit. But I have a plan. We're going to use the next TNT to blow up the nether. So let's go to the surface. I mined all the way up and it's becoming daytime. So we don't need to worry about mobs hitting us. But I do have to be careful not to take fall damage like I did in the beginning. But now it's time to go to the nether. Oh, I found another portal. But we have to be very careful not to touch the lava because the next TNT is gonna be insane. And I wanna use it in the nether, not here. Is there a chest? Oh, there is. Oh my god, three obsidian, a golden hoe, and a fire charge. The portal's almost complete. Bop, bop, bop. And break these two blocks. That was not nice. This literally took me forever to mine. Crafting table. Jump. No, oh my god, no, 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 it's a rainbow. Oh god, is this bad? Oh my, oh my god! What the yo? Hide, oh my god, don't take damage. Oh my god. What did I do? Oh, wow. What in the yo just happened? I did not mean to do that. Oh, goodness. That was supposed to be for the nether. Oh, no. I'm afraid the TNT is going to be too powerful now. What's stronger than this? This entire area used to be land. Now it's just water and lava. Let's make a crafting table and craft a bucket. Water, lava, lava, water. This nether portal looks a little bit weird, but it still works. Let's go. We're now in the nether, and we have to be insanely careful. Any mistake, any slip slip and any fall will literally explode everything. We need to find seven blaze rods before we leave. Ooh, another fortress. And a portal. Carefully go down. Garbage in the chest. But the portal is almost complete. Oh my god, I almost stepped on the magma block. That would have set off a giant explosion. We have to be very, very careful. Let's just find the blaze spotter, kill them, and get out. Ooh, I see it. It's gonna activate right now. Oh my god, there's two. Shield up. Don't take any damage. Okay, go attack. Okay. Die, please die. Oh, God. Please just go away. Yeah. Yes, all we need is one more blaze rod. Yes, we got seven. Run, get out. So we made it out with seven blaze rods. But I think we should explode the entire nether fortress. I don't want the explosion to blow up this portal because this is the way we're going to get out. So I think I'm going to set it off right next to that wither skeleton. And hopefully it's not strong enough to reach this portal. So I took a walk all the way to my doom because this explosion was going to be next level. I did not even know an explosion could be this big. And now I'm going to jump and run. Three, two, one. Oh... What is that sound? What is that sound? Wait. Oh, God. I don't know what I just did. I'm running. Wait, what? I am scared. Why do I hear? Oh, God. What is happening? Ah, no. Yeah. 
That just happened. I had no idea the explosion was going to be this powerful. And that was only halfway on the TNT level. So it gets even more crazy. But I want to go back to the nether to see how big of an explosion that was. So I think this is where the explosion went off. Yeah, definitely. I don't think my items are saveable. Let's take a look inside this lava wall. Oh my god. This was only the halfway explosion. I don't think my items are here anymore. And we still have to use the biggest explosion in Minecraft on the Ender Dragon. So let's get some of this and some of that and go back to the overworld. Let's throw the Eye of Ender and find the Ender Portal. And you might be wondering why I have no armor other than the fact that it blew up. And that's because we just don't need it. The nether explosion was only half of the strength of the final explosion. So armor is not going to protect us from anything. I think we are here. The portal should be right underneath this island. So if we dig directly down from here, we're going to reach the portal. But I have a better way to get to it. If I build up from here and I jump off this pillar and I take fall damage, an insane team TNT is gonna spawn on this island and it's gonna blow up the entire area and while that's happening I'm gonna jump to this boat and try and escape before it blows me up too. We only have one shot at this so we cannot mess it up. Three, two, one, jump and run to the boat. Oh, get me in. Oh god. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. What's oh my god. What is that? Dude, it's raining fire. Wait, is that it? Why am I like Oh wow, that was not it. What the yo? What is this? It's like a giant cube. The entire chunk disappeared. Holy moly. I mean, it kind of worked. It took us all the way down to the end portal. And if you look on top of the screen, our TNT level bar is maxed out. So that means next time we take any damage, the most powerful TNT ever is going to go off. And we're going to use it against the Ender Dragon. Will it be strong enough to defeat it? I don't know. Let's find out. But we have to find the Ender Portal first. I think we found the portal. Yeah, we did. Let's go. Nice. It is now time for us to do the biggest explosion ever. Let's go. So for the plan to work, we're going to need a lot of blocks. Nice. Now let's go to the top. And for this plan to work, we have to climb one of the pillars. Hello, Mr. Dragon. I'm going to blow you up. Oh my god, he almost hit me with that. That would have ruined the plan. Now we have to quickly build a base out of endstone to protect ourselves from the giant TNT explosion. Nice. And now the next step is to build a bridge all the way to the center of the end. This is very risky, but it has to be done. We just made it to the middle. Let's run back. So now we have everything set up perfectly. We have the bridge and we have the base. So let's just do it. But things did not go to plan. The dragon actually shot me. Oh no, that was not supposed to happen. I was supposed to take fall damage. Oh my God. Oh. Hello, this is Ohms from heaven. Let's react to what happened after I died. So after that giant fireball hit, TNT came kept spawning and duplicated and made an insane explosion and just destroyed the ender dragon instantly. And this is what the island ended up looking like. If you enjoyed the video, go check that you're subscribed.